Hi, I'm Hash, and welcome to this DVD. Now, do you ever wonder why your acrylic paintings might look a tad dull, maybe muddy, slightly overworked? Well, if not, then you can switch off now. However, if you're still there and would like to produce rich, luminous, luscious acrylic paintings, then keep watching. Or if you've never painted in acrylics before, I'm going to be showing you some insights into the do's and don'ts of this most versatile medium. So be prepared to be inspired by vibrant acrylics. Let's paint. Okay, for this landscape, I started with a deep violet mixed with white base, just so it was a light shade of violet. And then I did a very rough outline of basically where everything was going to go, where the edge of the tree was, the line of trees which meet the water, and also obviously where the strong sun was in relation to everything else. And then I launched in with a loaded brush, lots of paint, and just drag the paint backwards and forwards, diagonally, just to create interesting blends, lots of warm reds where the sun was, and then lots of cooler colors around the edges. Where they met, there'd be uh, a couple of earthy shades just to bridge the colors together. And then finally, um, the highlights went in, which really created the interesting contrast. And at the very end, the defining strokes really just to tie everything together and just to give a few definition points and to punctuate areas and draw your eye in. Portrait. I started with a base colour of phalo green, cerulean blue mixed with white. I then did a brief outline because portraits are quite tricky, so it's quite good to have something of the bare bones of the shape to start with. After that, just dive in with paint, loaded brush, interesting marks, just to establish the main form of the piece. After that, just a couple of tweaks here and there, just for little areas of rich colour. And then I can launch in with strong highlights and really pull the painting together. And the last few marks really define the features a little bit more, but hopefully retaining the initial marks, which are still interesting and give an air of spontaneity in relation to the definition at the end. Mm -hmm. 